Hello everyone, welcome back to Benzel Case. Today we'll be unboxing and reviewing the Diplomat Arrow. Upon receiving your pen, you'll be greeted with a protective cardboard sleeve containing the pen box. One thing that surprised me when I first saw it was that the lid of the box was made of a matte finish metal with the Diplomat logo printed on top. This really impressed me as most manufacturers don't really put in much thought or effort into the box, especially at this price point. Definitely a great first impression. Moving the paper flap aside reveals the pen. I got the orange and black model. This pen comes in different colorways including brown, red and blue as well as many more. They do also occasionally make a few limited editions. I'll leave a link in the description to the Diplomat website for the full range. Besides the pen, there's a service and warranty guide and two short standard international cartridges as well as a converter included inside the pen. Here are some of the pen specs. In this review, we will be looking at the steel nib version. There's a link in the description to where I got my pen. Let's take a closer look at the pen. The pen has a zeppelin shape with groove-like depressions on the barrel and cap. As the whole pen is made of aluminium, it is hefty and just feels quality. On the cap, there's Diplomat branding with Germany printed on the back. The printing is crisp and clear. The pocket clip is firm but isn't too stiff to the point where it's difficult to use. It has a nice bead blasted matte finish. Both ends of the pen are capped off with an accented point, with the top having the Diplomat logo. The cap uses a snap-on design and is quite tight. Beneath the cap, reveals a beautifully embossed number 6 size Yowo nib on a metal section. As mentioned earlier, I have the steel nib version. The gold nib will be two-toned gold and silver. Unscrewing the section, the pen uses metal threads both on the section and the body. Thankfully, the threads are smooth and doesn't give you that horrible fingernails on chalkboard feeling. The included converter is quite nice and will probably last a long time and shouldn't need to be replaced. The pen can be posted, it has a plastic sleeve on the inside of the cap which should prevent scratching the body and make the sliding action smooth. Although given the weight of the pen, I wouldn't recommend posting the cap. Writing with this pen is a complete joy. The steel nib is probably one of the best steel nibs I've ever used. As mentioned earlier, this pen can also be bought with a gold nib. But given how well the steel nib writes, I would argue that unless you really really want the gold nib, I would save the cash and get the steel because I don't think the gold would write any better. It's just that good. This nib is a fine and it's so buttery smooth with hardly any feedback. The flow is on the slightly wetter side 
but I wouldn't say it's very wet. Flow is consistent and smooth. The nib is stiff with hardly any give. Apologies for the bad handwriting. The pen is currently inked with Dymine Oxblood. As you can see from the close-ups, the line width is about average for a European fine. Overall, the nib is amazing and I think for the price, it's very fair given the quality of craftsmanship and nib work. This pen can definitely be a workhorse pen and a daily driver given how smooth the nib is. So, TLDR. The pros of the pen are that it's a great writer with the best steel nib I've tried yet. It looks and feels premium, being made to a very high standard, and the cap snaps on and off very securely, so you'll never have to worry about it coming off accidentally. Moving on to some of the cons of the pen. The pen is heavy and can be fatiguing on long writing sessions. I don't personally like metal sections, which this pen has, as I feel they can sometimes get very slippery. And lastly, the section is a bit on the slim side and I prefer a more shaped or thicker section. But your mileage may vary for the last two points. Overall, it is a great buy and I'd highly recommend it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more fountain pen content. And if you've got any questions or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below.